Hey guys, what's up? It's um, Helpline Bling, Volume 3. Uh, I'm in uh, Jogikarta, Indonesia. I am sunburnt, if you can't tell. This is the internet cafe I'm in. It's pretty dope. Um, so, yeah. So let's go over some of the stuff. So yesterday, or on Monday, rather, you guys learned about um, molar mass and uh, Avogadro's number and moles. So you should be able to convert between those three, no problem. Um, it's extremely important that you know how to do that. So if you haven't done the homework for that uh, that day, you need to do it. Please, please, please. Um, but we're going to take it one step further today, and we're going to be talking about stoichiometry. So what stoichiometry is all about is basically if I say, like, all right, here's, you know, 14 grams of hydrogen. How much, um, and then you add in, you know, 20 grams of oxygen. How many grams of water is going to be made? Well, you're going to be using these these uh, these same principles of converting between, uh, in this case, grams and then moles, and now you combine that in with balancing equations. So here's the deal. You can see in this uh, in this diagram here that the key thing is you have to get to moles first. So if you start with the number of particles, if I say like, oh, there's six billion particles of this, how many moles is it? Or if there's 12 grams of this, get it to moles first. So you have to go between moles, and then you can go to mole and mole. So if you think of it like a balanced equation would be um, 2H2O plus 1O2 equals 2 water molecules, H2Os, right? So it's a 2 to 1 to 2 ratio. So you have to get it into those moles, and then you use that coefficient from the balanced chemical reaction to get over here. So if I had, let's say, 3 moles of oxygen, that means it would be 6 moles of water. And then you can take that 6 moles of water and make it into mass, or you can get into particles, or something like that. Alright, but the thing is, you have to get into moles, and then you use those coefficients from a balanced chemical equation. So let's look at this one real quick. How many moles of KCl must decompose in order to produce 9.3 moles of oxygen in gas? Okay, so we start with 9.3 moles, right? And they're asking how much of this is necessary. Well, this is in a 3 to 2 ratio, right? So if this is 9.3 right here, so if this is, we can set it up as a, essentially as two fractions. 9.3 over x, let's say, and that's a fraction. Is going to be the same as 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Alright, so pretend that these things, here you go, you don't have to pretend anymore. Uh, okay, so these are two different fractions, okay? Okay. Okay, so now you can cross multiply and divide and find out that, you know, okay, that's 18.6, 18.6 divided by 3 is what? 6.2. So then x would be equal to 6.2. So there'd be 6.2 moles of KCl03 that is necessary. Alright, I'm not going to go through all of these right now. I'm going to let Mr. Edel, who knows this stuff, he knows what he's doing, to talk about the rest of this. Alright, but go through these, understand that you have to get to moles first, that's the main thing. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Helpline Blink. Alright, peace.